China just left the United States a full century behind, and this project is the proof. China did something in 2025 that shocked the world, pulling so far ahead in infrastructure that many experts now say the US is almost 100 years behind. This gap isn't about opinion, it's about real projects that already exist. High-speed rail networks stretching across entire regions, power grids moving electricity from one side of the continent to the other, and engineering works so massive they reshape land and water. These are living examples, not future plans. And once you see them, the title will make complete sense. Number 1. The High-Speed Rail Network China operates the largest high-speed rail network in the world by a wide margin. By the end of 2024, it already had about 48,000 kilometers of high-speed lines in service, and official plans say the network will pass 50,000 kilometers in 2025. China also aims to reach around 60,000 kilometers by 2030. This is only high-speed rail, not the entire rail system, and these fast lines now connect almost all major Chinese cities. China's entire rail network carried more than 4 billion passenger trips in 2024, a record year, and high-speed trains made up a large part of that total. The system is not only expanding in length, but also improving in technology. China is testing the CR450 train platform, designed for operating speeds near 400 km per hour, and early trials have already reached about 420 km per hour. In comparison, the United States still has no national high-speed rail network. The first true high-speed line, Brightline West, between Las Vegas and Southern California, is still under construction. California's own project is years behind schedule and far from completion. While the US debates a few hundred kilometers, China is building tens of thousands, which is why experts say China is not just catching up, but moving far ahead. Number two. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge looks simple on a map, but it is one of the most difficult and ambitious sea crossings ever built. The whole system is around 55 kilometers long and connects Hong Kong, Macau, and Zhuhai across the Pearl River estuary. The project includes three long cable stayed bridges, a 6.7 kilometer undersea tunnel, and four artificial islands making it the longest sea crossing and the longest open sea fixed link in the world. The bridge opened in late 2018. At first, many people said it wasn't being used enough, but that changed quickly. By 2024, it carried more than 10,000 vehicles and about 75,000 passenger trips every day. By October 2025, total passenger trips through that port had reached more than 93 million in seven years. One of the biggest advantages is time. Before the bridge, traveling between Hong Kong and Zhuhai could take around four hours by land and ferry. Now it takes about 30 minutes by road. The bridge also has a design life of around 120 years, meaning it's built to last for many generations. This project shows how China thinks about infrastructure. Instead of making small upgrades, it's willing to build a completely new cross-sea route that links three major cities into one economic area. The United States has big bridges, but nothing that combines long sea crossings, tunnels, artificial islands, and cross-border travel in a single system like this. Number 3. Baihetan Hydropower Station Baihetan is one of China's biggest clean energy achievements. It is a 289-meter-high double-curvature arch dam on the Jinsha River with 16 turbine units, each producing 1 gigawatt of power. This gives the station a total capacity of 16 gigawatts, making it the second-largest hydropower plant in the world after the Three Gorges Dam. Construction began in 2017, and all units were fully operational by December 2022. In early 2024, China confirmed that Baihetan had entered full operation, producing about 62.4 terawatt hours of electricity every year. This is enough to power around 65 million people while cutting more than 51 million tons of carbon dioxide annually. Baihetan is part of a larger clean energy corridor on the Yangtze River, along with Wudongdae, Ziluodu, Xiangjiaba, 
and three gorges, and together, these projects send huge amounts of renewable power from the west to China's major cities in the east. Number 4. The South to North Water Diversion Project China faces a major water imbalance. The South has abundant water, while the North has most of the population, farms, and industry but very limited supply. To fix this, China built the South to North Water Diversion Project, the largest water transfer system in the world, designed to move about 44.8 billion cubic meters of water every year through three routes, eastern, central, and a planned western route. The eastern and central routes began operating in 2013 and 2014. By late 2024, they had already delivered around 76.5 billion cubic meters of water to northern regions, helping more than 185 million people. By February 2025, the central route alone had supplied over 70 billion cubic meters to 26 major cities. In the 2024 to 2025 season, about 6.47 billion cubic meters were transferred, with more than 11.8 billion cubic meters used to restore ecosystems. The project remains controversial, but its scale is unmatched. Number 5. The Ultra High Voltage Power Grid China's ultra-high voltage power grid, often called an electricity highway, is the system that carries huge amounts of electricity across long distances with very low energy loss. It's one of the most important pieces, supporting China's fast growth in hydropower, solar power, and wind energy. China built its first UHV line in 2009. Since then, it has created the largest UHV network in the world. By the end of 2023, the country had 19 UHV alternating current lines and 20 UHV direct current lines. Together, these lines stretched more than 40,000 kilometers. China plans to increase its west-to-east -east electricity transmission capacity to more than 340 gigawatts by the end of 2025, enough power for about 230 million households. These long lines move clean energy from deserts and plateaus in the north and west to major cities and factories in the east and south. One example is the Ningxia to Hunan line, which is 1,616 kilometers long and can carry up to 8,000 megawatts with less than 3% energy loss per 1,000 kilometers. The United States has only a small number of 765 kilovolt lines. In the 2020s, China built more than 8,200 miles of high-voltage lines, while the US built only about 375 miles, showing a gap of entire generations in grid technology. China's UHV grid still has challenges, such as wasted power when renewable energy grows too fast, but in size and voltage level, it is far ahead of most countries. China's megaprojects show what happens when a country builds for the next century, not the last one. Which project surprised you the most? Tell us in the comments and subscribe for more clear, simple breakdowns of big engineering stories.